All right. So <clears throat> I put up a bunch of videos on you know, kind of how I sprint, you know, introducing sprint intervals, kind of the, you know, a good introduction to them, uh, how the average person can be doing them, simple enough that the average person could start doing them. But I'm a massage therapist. And some people may be wondering, why is a massage therapist making videos about sprinting? So I will now tell you why. Because as a massage therapist, <laughs> I get to see where people are deficient. You know, uh, people coming in with the same problems over and over and over and I get to hear why they think they have the problems they have. But from my mechanical understanding of the body, um, I can see, you know, pinpoint where the problem is. And it always boils down to some imbalance. How they're sleeping, how you know uh, what they have to do for their job. They, you know, they're turning this way. They're using this arm more than you know. Everybody uses one arm more than the other. <clears throat> so that right there is the source of a lot of you know people's uh, chronic issues. And then they're not doing anything to fix the imbalance that you know that being out of alignment, that overuse in one direction. They're not doing anything to, to go the other way, to balance it. So, I have always been very sensitive to any kind of tension in my body. Uh, I just have always felt that and sought ways to, you know, get rid of that tension. That's part of the, partly the reason I became a massage therapist. But, you know, I realize a massage isn't the only answer. <clears throat> so, in my quest, because I am very lazy, in my quest to find the, the quickest, simplest way to fix these imbalances and <clears throat> so I can get on with the rest of my day, <laughs> I have found that Sprint intervals are, I really haven't found anything, uh, I can't imagine anything better because it, it checks all the boxes. If there's only one exercise that you do, sprint intervals should be it. It benefits all of your systems, uh, all of your you know structure, you know, bones, connective tissues, muscles, nervous system, endocrine system, you know, uh, even the way your brain functions, your hormonal system, which is endocrine, uh, strengthens everything, benefits everything, but then also, in terms of teaching you about your body, as a, as a diagnostic slash teaching tool, when you're doing sprints, you will find that you will find where your imbalances are, where you are weak, you know, which side of the joint you're weak in, which, where you lack mobility to do it right. Uh, you know, you, as you get fatigued, you'll find yourself veering, or this leg isn't coming over as fast as the other, or this arm is not as, you know, and then the next day or two, you'll notice, oh, why am I sore in only my right, you know, quad and not my left? <coughs> Excuse me. You'll, uh, that, those are clues. That's uh, your body teaching you that, you know, you're in balance there from either the way you're sprinting is overemphasizing that muscle compared to the other one. 
or you're not using that muscle enough and it's weak and now it's sore because you used it and now it, it, it's trying to, it's, a, it's stressed and now will adapt to that stress. <laughs> so just doing sprints, focusing on form, <laughs> not like perfection, but, but focusing on form as, okay, where am I, you know, where is this wonky? What's going, you know, what is my body telling me as I'm doing sprints in the next day or two? Any soreness, any, you know, what is that telling me? If you go into it with that kind of mindset, <laughs> sprints can be, sprints are extremely beneficial. <laughs> because I find as a massage therapist, also, the average person is uh, doesn't really know a lot about their body, how it works, what their body is telling them. <laughs> they're just not. It's just they're just not in communication with their body. So <laughs> it's uh, that's why I think it's a great tool. <laughs> And that's my philosophy as a massage therapist, is just balance. If you rebalance yourself, get yourself back into balance, that's what's gonna help you age. Because you're not gonna be putting weird forces on your body uh, while you're uh, you know, going, going through your day. It's the asymmetries that pull this and then your bones are rubbing against each other in a way that they're not meant to they're out of alignment and then uh, and then that leads to you know joint inflammation or breakdown or you know increases the risk for injuries so that's my philosophy as a massage therapist rebalance if you're always consistently being pulled out of balance and it's causing you pain and whatnot, rebalance. I find sprinting to be good at that, but you can be much more specific if you want. Um, if you're always, uh, I've also found like, um, you know, your shoulders curling forward and your head forward, a good pulling back exercise, you know, like some kind of a rowing, that too, to get more specific, but sprinting takes care of all of it. So I'm more of a, you know, bang for the buck kind of guy. So, all right, I hope that helps. And uh, any questions, I'm always available to ask. Take care.